Here at Helmuth Ford, we are a small town dealership with no hassle and no pressure. Delta Fire and Rescue presents the Delta Haunted House at 109 North Center Street in Delta. Admission is just $10 per person. The Delta Haunted House is open each Friday and Saturday throughout October and on Halloween night from 8 to 10 p.m. Food and drinks will be available for purchase and now accepting cash and most major credit cards. It's the Delta Fire and Rescue Delta Haunted House Fridays and Saturdays in October and on Halloween night. The Watch Your Opera House presents the Midwest Country Music Organization New Artist of the Year, Jordan Beam, featuring John Griffiths. This Saturday at 7 p.m. Tickets are just $10. Get them at watchyouroperahouse.org or get them at the door. See one of the Midwest's best with Iowa's Jordan Beam this Saturday night, 7 p.m. at the Watch Your Opera House. As these Iowa skies Above average yield may put a crunch on storage. If you don't have the room on your farm, consider renting a grain bin from your neighbor on Successful Farming Radio. Successful Farming Radio, providing information farmers need in the field, in the shop, and in the office. Committed to growing your business in agriculture. Pride, it runs deep for those in agriculture, but that pride can also prevent farmers from asking for help when it's needed most. An injury, illness, or natural disaster is a heavy burden for any operation to bear. Farm Rescue is here to help shoulder that burden. We are a nonprofit organization helping farm families in crisis with free planting, haying, and harvesting assistance. There is no pride lost when it comes to Farm Rescue. Learn more at farmrescue.org. Do you have a great idea or invention for the farm or ranch? If you've created some shop tool, workaround, or homemade idea to save you time and trouble, send the idea to Successful Farming Magazine for our All Around the Farm section. If we use your idea, you could get paid from $100 to $400. Submit your ideas today at agriculture.com slash idea entry. a bumper crop, finding enough on-farm storage for all that grain can be a challenge if you're not taking it to market right away. Maybe a neighbor or retired producer in your area have empty grain bins and would be willing to rent them to you. John Laporte is an extension farm business management educator at Michigan State University. He says there are cost considerations for both parties, so start rental negotiations with top-of-the-line costs of storing grain at a commercial elevator. To say this is kind of the most we would pay because this is all these services and additional things added in as we start ratcheting down to what we don't need or what's not going to be part of renting from a neighbor or another producer. You maybe want to charge a little bit less or you want, don't want to spend as much for those additional things that you're not going to have. So the owners kind of got in mind what they need to have to cover their expenses. The producer needing the storage kind of has a top end range. And then you kind of work through that negotiation of what's a reasonable rate to cover everybody's needs. He says there will be variations, but grain bin rental rates tend to look like this. Typically what we see for folks is you're looking at a per bushel per year cost, roughly about 10 cents to 25 cents per bushel. If you're looking at per month, it's anywhere from one cent up to 10 cents per month per bushel. Before the grain goes in, rented bins need to be clean and all working parts in order. Check for places where water can get in and any evidence of insect infestations. I'm Jody Henke. Learn more about renting grain bin storage at agriculture.com. <laughs> 